There are so many different ways that a simulation can give you an answer or result in a state that's unexpected. You typically need to have a lot of different ways of looking at the problem or looking at the model or looking at the results in order to home in on what the true solution is. Typically, if you run a simulation and it stops, uh, it'll give you some form of a diagnostic saying these equations couldn't converge. Many, many times the problem there is what you put in there isn't really physically realistic. So you might have a part in there that weighs one nanogram, something that's incredibly light and you've got it attached to an extremely stiff spring. So then you've got a system that's going to be having massive accelerations. And in those cases, it's likely you might have just put it in there. You didn't set the density properly. And so you've got something that's completely non-physical, something that couldn't ever be built. And so a lot of times, as far as the debugging process is concerned, when the simulation stops, hopefully there's a diagnostic that points to which part is accelerating too quickly, spinning too fast. Can you see at what point that was triggered? That will hopefully let you home in on the part the degree of freedom or the force law that's contributing to this non-physical behavior and then start to fix things from there.